the Siberian Hitch or the Event Hitch. Fantastic little knot this one. It's um, been adopted by the bushcraft world, definitely by the bushcraft world. They seem to love this knot and one of the main reasons that they love this particular knot, other than the fact that it is very, very easy to tie, it is a slip knot as well. But the other beautiful thing about this knot is intruder alert, intruder alert, look. You can tie this one with fairly hefty gloves. Okay, these aren't the heftiest gloves in the world, but this particular knot, and for today's demonstration, I will show you that this knot can be tied with a gloved hand. Now, the beautiful thing about this knot is, first of all, as you can see here, it is a slip knot. The second thing is, it is very, very easy to tie. And if we also look at it, the structure of the knot is actually a figure of eight knot for, uh, surrounding our slip knot here. And also this little sec this little tag bit here is basically that we have um, put a little bite in there so that it is quick release as well should we want to release it. Um, and so yes, Bushcrafters, from what I understand is, a lot of them, when setting up their ridge line, they use this particular knot first to go around a tree. This is my pretend tree here. There you go, there's my pretend tree. And they use this particular knot to go around a tree as the first part of their ridge line before they secure their ridge line in that direction onto another tree. And because this one is slipped as such, it's got a quick, quick release version, if we pull this here, you can see here now that has come undone and it's very quick and easy to undo. So that is our Siberian hitch or event hitch, event knot. Um, and yes, very much loved by the bushcrafters of this world, but also very, very useful for anybody wanting to set up a ridge line for a tarpaulin or something like that. A washing line, see? Home and garden, you can even set it up as a washing line. So let's get on now and show you how to tie this particular knot. Before I get on and tie this um, knot, I just want to ask you all a favor. If you enjoy this video, please share it for me so others can watch it as well. Um, and lots more people can then benefit from this video. Okay, so if you like it, please share it and let's get knotting. Right, so here we have, we have our cord. There's my cord, not very long, but if you have a longer piece of cord, it doesn't matter. And the first thing that we do is, we line up our tree. There's my tree, we've lined up the tree, and we take our cord around the back of the tree. I then take the cords and pass them both over my gloved hand. You can see here, that is the working end, so the right hand one is the working end, this is the standing end here that is going back to a tree. Right, so I get enough lead through there because it uses a little bit of cord. And the first thing I do is once I've got both ends over my hand like so, I then bring the working end around underneath the back of my gloved hand there like so. Having done that, I then, let's just get a little bit more, get a little bit more through, there we go. Once I've done that, I then take the working end and I pass it over both my leads like so, then bring it round underneath both my leads like so, and then I get hold of it here with my index finger and my middle finger. And now all I've got to do is, as you can see, my currently my hand is in that loop there. And all I've got to do is just bring my fingers out of that loop and then pull up on all the leads, but keeping hold of the lead here. So we form a bite and that bite will become our quick release connection there. And as we pull up on everything, my tree's moving slightly, but as we pull up on everything, I now have a very it's a very secure slip, slip knot this, but as I pull on that, it will tighten up around the tree and it will get to the point where it's not going anywhere. And so that is basically the event hitch or the Siberian hitch. And to undo it, all I do is pull on that lead there like so to undo it. Okay, so let's tie that knot again. And if you're a little bit worried about the security of that knot coming undone too easily, let's just show you another way 
of making it a little bit more secure so it can't become undone accidentally with someone pulling that um, working end. So once again, I have, let's do it completely, I get my cord and I pass the working end around the back of my tree like so. And then I've got the standing end and the working end in the palm of my hand. And the next thing I do is just get enough leads through because we, we, we need a fair bit to wrap it round. And the next thing I do is pass the working end underneath the back of my hand like so. So let's just take up a little bit more, that's it. We want a bit more lead. And then after going out down the back of my hand, I pass it over both leads, bring it round underneath both leads, and then lock it in position there with my index finger and my middle finger. Now the next thing I do is I take my hand out of this loop here, so pull my hand out of that loop, but at the same time I'm pulling up on everything that I can pull on. And you can see here now that here we have the figure of eight knot, here is the noose or the slipping section of our knot, and there is my working end. And what I can do now is draw that up tightly to the tree and lock it into place. And so now that is nice and neatly knocked into place and I pull it up and gradually it will pull up really, really tight and nothing happens. But what we can do to prevent anybody accidentally pulling this and undoing the knot, we could actually tuck the knot, tuck the working end here, that working end here, down through the loop of our knot there, just like so, tuck it down and then that won't come undone accidentally. And so to undo that now, we just pull it out of there like so, pull on the cord there, and as you can see here now, it's just come undone again. There you go. And that is it. Very, very, very simple um, slip knot that, but like I say, it can be used, or it can be tied with a gloved hand. And even if you've got big, chunky, whatever gloves on with fur, mittens, whatever, you should be able to tie that knot. So let's just quickly go around again, bring it round the back of the tree, take the working end around the back of the hand, over the work, over both ends like so, grab hold of it there and pull it through and then tighten up on all the leads and then bring it up and pull it tight against the tree and that is now locked in place and you can now go ahead and tie your other end with your favourite knot against the other tree for your ridge line or something like that. So there we have it, that is the Avenc hitch or the Siberian hitch and yeah, a really, really nice, nifty, beautiful knot. So if you enjoy this video, please thumbs up, oh, this thumb up, and if you hated it, thumbs down, but please do leave a comment and tell me why and I can improve in future. And also, a great thing would be if you could share this video as well so others can watch it. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you again next time. Bye-bye.